Welcome to Cultura Latina. This week we're traveling to Argentina to visit two outstanding cultural spaces. First, we'll take a look at the Children's Book Fair in Buenos Aires and the visual historic value of one of Argentina's most acclaimed artists. Join us. The Buenos Aires Children's Book Fair opened its doors to young and old audiences 25 years ago as an initiative to promote reading and new authors among children and young readers in the Argentine capital. Take a look. This fair is in its 25th year, which represents the consistent work done by people to achieve this gathering between the world of books, art and literature with children. One of the incentives we have this year is a gift we give the children that we call a Reader's Passport. What we find interesting about the Reader's Passport is that it is something that they can keep. They put their picture and their name on it. They register the books they read and liked, the books they want to read, the ones that they discovered at the fair, the authors they knew. So it helps to see how they're developing as readers. We are growing year after year. This year, for example, we have scheduled 1,600 shows here in Polo Cierco, so there is a cultural diversity here. Because what is interesting when the children come here is that they can have a grounded experience with art in general. It is important to be aware that when someone visits the fair, sees a book, starts to read, what they're doing is promoting critical thinking and a free spirit for these citizens, these little members of our city. Consider one of Argentina's most celebrated visual artists, Ricardo Carpani has always been on the side of social struggles and unions through his pieces, now celebrated in a wonderful exhibition. Join us. Ricardo Carpani is considered one of the most important visual artists in Argentina. Born in 1930 in the suburbs of Buenos Aires, Carpani's work is strongly associated with social struggles and workers' unions. The collection Carpani, a worker between the workshop and the streets, in the cultural center Haroldo Conti, shows the work of this Argentine painter during the decades of the 1960s and 1970s. Eh, Carpani is one of the great painters argentinos del siglo XX, but además es un hombre. Carpani was one of the great Argentinian painters of the 20th century, but he was also very committed to the popular struggles in Argentina, to the human rights movement, and as we can see in this collection, in his visual work on strikes, he was strongly committed to workers' movement struggles. Influenced by other contemporary artists such as Ecuadorian Osvaldo Guayasamin or Mexican muralists like Diego Rivera and David Siqueiros, Carpani always felt that art should be closely related to its social and political context. With this view, workers, political prisoners and Latin American revolutionary leaders are key themes in his heart. Y ahí aparece esta gráfica política que Carpani found an important place doing political graphics in the time of social and worker struggles during the 1960s, and it has been said that he was something more than an illustrator of those struggles. Carpani became a participant of the worker struggle in Argentina. Because of his activism with workers' unions and political groups, Carpani was forced into exile after the military coup of 1976. He fled to Europe where besides his artistic work, he took part in the Argentine Committee in defense of the human rights that helped denouncing the crimes of the military dictatorship. 
eh, siempre estuvo vinculado. He was always related to the popular struggles in Argentina. He was exiled, as many other fighters had to do during the dictatorship. But he came back to Argentina in the 1980s, and he kept on painting, and also he kept committed to the struggles for a deeper democracy and human rights. Con la lucha por la profundización de la democracia, con la lucha por los derechos humanos. From an aesthetic point of view, what is interesting about this time in Carpani's work is that he practically created the iconography that went with the Union's political action and with popular claims. And looking back at the context of the artistic vanguards and what we could call an isolated art that seems to lose importance, but it's actually very important. Carpani's ability to bring together artistic excellence with political commitment seems to reinforce the idea that art can also help building a new society. Carpani is a founder icon of Argentine art and perhaps Latin American art too, because he conceived his work as a political action and he developed strategies and graphic techniques to make it as positive, powerful and effective as they could be. And I believe he really achieved that. Thanks for watching. Next week we'll be back with another amazing taste on Latin American culture. See you then.